How's it going, trumpets and horns? Are we having a good day today? I hope so. I'm here today to help you with your D major scale. That's a really fun, exciting scale. Why am I looking at my microphone? That's not right. Oh, that's right. So D major scale. First of all, look at your scale sheet. Because if you don't look at your scale sheet on this one, it ain't gonna be pretty. All right, check your key signature. You have two sharps, F sharp, C sharp. So think about your order of sharps. Remember those are backwards of your order of flats. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, A sharp, E sharp, B sharp. You know how long it took me to practice that to get that right? Anyway, you have just F sharps and C sharps. So horns and trumpets, your F sharps are both for both groups, second position. Okay. For your C sharp trumpet, your high C sharp, remember, is going to be fourth position. Horns, for you, it's trigger five. All right, trigger five. And then your highest note, trumpets, is going to be third position. And horns, is for you, it's trigger four. So don't get that confused, because it's really easy to do. And if you forget by the time of the end of this video, there's this little handy dandy thing in the back of your book called a fingering chart. You can look it up there. All right, so F sharps and C sharps. Um, I would do a lot of fingering and saying on this one, just like we used to do in beginner band, just to help you out a little bit and get it under your fingers really well before you start playing it. Then when you play it, it should sound something like this. Hopefully. Trumpets, you better sound better than that since I'm a tuba player and I'm playing it and there's some interesting sounds coming out there, but you get the idea. So F sharp and C sharp, if you need any help with anything, please let me know. I'll be glad to help.